everybody, it's Miss Colleen from the Upper St. Clair Library, and today I'm going to show you a simple engineering project that you can do at home. We're going to make paper airplanes. So, grab a sheet of paper and join me in this project. On the library website, I've posted detailed instructions on how to make a paper airplane, but I hope you'll follow along with me today. Okay, so step one, you have your sheet of paper. And you're going to do what we like to call a hot dog fold, which means that you fold and crease the paper on the long edge of the sheet. Once you've done that, open it back up to get ready for the next fold. So you folded your sheet, you have a nice crease. This crease will help you guide your next folds. So your next folds are going to be to fold in the top two corners to meet at the crease. It is much easier to do on a flat surface. So you'll fold down each side and you should have something that looks like a house. So after you've made your first fold, you're going to make a second fold where you fold down the bent corners into the center crease so that now your plane starts to take shape. Now your paper should look like this, and then you're just going to fold it in half. So fold the edges that have been folded into the center crease together so that you have an object that's beginning to look like an airplane. Now, the last step is to fold down the wings. So you'll take each side, starting at the, t the point, the tip of the plane, fold it down, and you have a paper airplane. You can color it, decorate it, add stickers or some other flair, and have a race with siblings, or make this into an experiment and try using different types of paper. You could try heavier paper like construction paper or other craft paper, lighter paper like a newspaper or even tissue paper, but have fun and remember, you can find the instructions on the library website, and I hope you'll join me back for some other activities. Have a great day.